Fox 26 is joined with the Defender Network delivering news and information to the area's black community. Here now is managing editor Rashonda Tate. Rashonda, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Well, for the first time in 50 years, the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated will be holding their annual national conference in the Bayou City. So why is this so significant? Well, it's significant because of the amount of people that are coming for this convention. They're expecting almost 8,000 people. They have about four to 5,000 registered members, and then their families are coming. And so it is an economic boost to the Bayou City. Anytime you bring that many people into downtown Houston, you're going to see them spending money. So it's a, they're looking at an economic boost of five to $10 million. Plus they're doing a lot of service projects for the community. So this is a good thing yeah, for us. They're our a community. good group. They do, yeah. they sure do do a lot. Next up, this is a really cool story. A black astronaut, Victor Clover, will make history when NASA sends Artemis II to the moon next year. You actually had the chance to talk with the pilot and military officer about this journey that he's been training for. He has been training um, since 2013 and so it was such an honor to talk with Victor because not only is he going on the mission, he's actually the pilot. He is piloting this mission. Now they won't actually land on the moon but they will um, go around the moon. It's the first time that this has been done and he's the first black person to go and, and have this accomplishment. So I had the honor to talk about how he got into this. This was not something he grew up up wanting to do and so we had a, a, a wonderful story with him about that and he is a member of Phi Beta Sigma so he's here doing a lot of service with the, um, this week as well. Yeah it was a great read and really cool to learn about his journey. You also this is probably my favorite that I read you dug into H-Town soul food restaurants, gyms, museums, even cigar lounges that are all owned by black people. So what did you find out and what's this list that you have compiled? Yeah, so we spent all, the, all of last week looking at the best of black Houston. And we were just astonished. There were some, some wonderful restaurants we didn't know were black owned. So we took a look at those gyms, masseuse, uh, barber shops, uh, hairstylists. And so we've compiled those every day last week and we actually ran stories. And so we're continuing to look at, and it's just some place for you to go and you can get the best soul food, great happy hour spots. We did, even did hookah lounges and clubs. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> it's also a very informative read. If you want to look for something new to try out, I would head there and check that yes. out for sure. And we do have the links to each of these stories at fox26houston.com. Rashonda, thanks so much for coming thanks in. Thanks for having me.